is a new channel which I've uh, set up with the idea of showcasing and sharing my journey into the wonderful world of fountain pens. Now, just to give yourself a, uh, a little bit of brief introduction about myself. I'm Andrew from Dorset, England. I currently work in education as a teaching assistant and art technician. Uh, in my spare time, I very much enjoy art. And it's through art which I discovered the wonderful world of fountain pens. Why fountain pens? <laughs> I asked myself. And you may be asking as well. Well, prior to using fountain pens, I very much enjoyed doing illustrations with fine liner pens. Fine liner pens are great. However, when you run out of ink, you generally dispose of them. And whilst there are companies like Mont Blanc and uh, Graphon Paper Castell, uh, which produce fine liners, in which I do actually own one, I just wanted something which um, gave me uh, a little bit more range of choice of inks and writing styles as well. I do enjoy writing, and this is something which I've been dramatically trying to improve um, over the last, well, last two months since, since the lockdown. So I set myself a challenge to really improve that um, and also to see what I can actually produce with a fountain pen in an artistic sense. And in forthcoming videos, I will go on and talk a little bit more about that perhaps. However, for the purpose of um, today's video, I would like to talk to you about this pen. Leonardo Messenger. But uh, before I do this, I'd like to give a big shout out to Emmy at Penventure, who is an absolute legend. Emmy has been an inspiration, really, uh, in many respects. His um, YouTube channel, which uh, unfortunately doesn't have any recent videos, but have been told and promised that he will be updating, um, really sort of led me down into uh, the, the path of enjoying fountain pens more than just tools, enjoying them from an aesthetic um, perspective and just seeing you know what range of um, pens were out there in terms of um, countries which were producing pens and how those countries were then lending their own sort of artistic sort of viewpoints into fountain pens. So in my collection I've now started off with a Lamy 2000 which I sort of jumped into the deep end with. Then I bought myself a Lamy Safari and from there I then purchased this beautiful pen. This is a Leonardo Memento Zero in Blue Hawaii. From there I purchased this Santini Libra in Amber. And then I've got a few others which I will show maybe in future videos. But today I'd like to go over this pen and Please join me in the next section where I'm going to do some close-ups talking about this pen. Thank you. Okay, and welcome back. I'm now just going to um, give a bit of a size comparison before we get started. We've got the Leonardo Messenger here, and I have one more pen from the Leonardo range, which is the Memento Zero. And as you can see, the Messenger is actually slightly a bit longer than the Memento Zero. Both are absolutely stunning pens, and actually when uncapped, they are pretty much the same. So I'll just remove the caps so that you can see how the pens compare. Now I'll also mention at this point, as far as I know, this is Leonardo's first venture outside of using Bok nibs with their new messenger, and I would say it's actually quite welcome. I do love the Bok nibs. Having said that, the Yeovil nibs I have on this particular pen found a lot more reliable. I don't get any hard starts, any skips or whatsoever. And no matter what ink I put into this, it seems to cope absolutely fantastically. Unfortunately, with my uh, Memento Zero, it does seem to be a little bit more choosy in terms of what ink I can put in there and on what paper it seems to write. But they are both beautiful writers when you pair them nicely. If you are in the market for a fountain pen, um, either will be great options, and especially if you are more of a seasoned fountain pen user, you can possibly correct some of the things which may have uh, been plaguing me with uh, the Memento Zero. But I would like to now safely report that both pens 
seem to be working flawlessly. And that is many thanks to the ink which I have been recommended. Okay, back to the uh, Memento, sorry, back to the, the Leonardo Messenger. One thing which you will notice is we've got a metal thread on the section here. I find that that is a, such an aesthetically beautiful choice to put in and it just makes the pen feel a bit more divided between the section and the, the barrel. If we look at the Memento Zero again, it does have a little bit of silver at the end and I think that's beautiful. I just wish more manufacturers would um, include a, a tapered off, well, like a divided section, I should say, not a tapered section, but a, a divided section. I think that is such a beautiful little uh, design aesthetic. But I do love the metal rings on there, and I feel that over time, those will be a lot more reliable. Okay, and that's it for the close-up. Now, on to the writing sample. Okay, and on to the writing sample. So today we have got a Leonardo Messenger. Excuse my handwriting, it's not a position which I am used to writing in. We have got Pelican Blue Black Ink. which I believe is called Tanzanite. And let's have a look at how juicy this pen is. So let's just do a little swatch. Now, the paper I'm using is Rhodia. It's quite dry, to be honest, and I quite like that. I will give you a bit more of an overview in a moment. Let's do some horizontal and vertical lines. As you can see, no skips or hard starts whatsoever. A very reliable pen. And then finally, we'll just do some figure of eights. So you can squeeze out the minutest bit of line variation if I press down really hard. As you can see, just with these little swooshes but there is not really any flex with this whatsoever. I really do love this pen. It's such a great everyday writer and perhaps a far better performer in many respects than my Memento Zero, which is nothing wrong with it. Um, I do love a wet nib. Having said that, when you are doing writing on a variety of different papers, having something slightly drier, I have found uh, from my own personal viewpoint is much better. Okay, um, now thank you for looking at this little writing sample, and then let's just go back to my ugly mug and I'll give you a brief overview of my thoughts on this pen. Now thank you so much for bearing with me so far. Now, just to give a quick brief overview of this pen, should you buy this? Yes, yes you should. This is perhaps Leonardo's best value uh, pen to date. That steel yoga nib really is an absolute uh, cracker of a nib. It really does perform effortlessly. And in comparison to my experience, be it only one um, Bok nib um, so far on my uh, Memento Zero, I have no hard starts, no skips whatsoever. Unfortunately, with my uh, Memento Zero, um, I still do get a few hard starts from time to time. It is a lot better with uh, the Pelican ink, which I was recommended but this pen just seems to work with anything which I uh, throw at it, which, to be honest, in, um, it's, it's, a, it's a testament to, to Leonardo, to be honest. Uh, Salvatore has made an absolute cracker of a pen. Now, who would you, I say this pen is suitable for? Well, anyone, to be honest. It's not, when it's unposted, it's a, a reasonable size for someone with smaller hands. If you've got larger hands, you can post it, which I tend to do. I don't have large hands, but um, I've got quite long fingers. 
I find this pen is an incredibly comfortable pen to write for or even draw with in extended sessions. My only um, slight niggle, and it's possibly because I chose a fine point, and in my sort of previous experience with fine points, they've always been a little bit broader than this, but this is probably my first uh, Yovo nib. I wouldn't like the pen a hair, a hair bit uh, wetter, and I'm sure with uh, time and expertise, that's something I could actually uh, sort for myself. But other than that, I really can't complain. You know, it really is a, a, a stunning pen, and I can't emphasize that enough. So if you've got any questions or comments, please do leave them in the section below, and I will see you soon. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.